look like? We're going to do we're going to do wins and biggest challenges. Peter's going to head that up here in a minute here. So wins and biggest challenges is our next segment. Then we're going into what we call the BOSS system, B-O-S, Business Operating System. All of you have one. What ours looks like in our business operating system is the DNA of people, the DNA of business, and the DNA of life. The DNA of people is personality masteries. Karen Carlson's going to come up and help us understand how mastering personalities fits into achieving your life vision. The next segment is going to be on the 530 grid. That's the DNA of business. We'll all be going through the 530 grid and helping you understanding it better, more efficiently, and being able to tie that into your life vision and how that tool is going to be essential for you going forward as well. Bruce Brankel is going to take us into our third segment of the BOS system, which is natural laws. Okay? It's the DNA of life and how they're so powerful, they, they tie everything together. It's really the glue that holds it all together. And, and he's going to be helping us understand how the DNA of, of life ties into your life vision. And there's going to be a lot of information we cover, so take a lot of notes. Teresa, at that point, is going to help us with Q&A. So you're going to have a lot of, I, I hope you take good notes, because you're going to get a lot of information for what you're going to see here in the next half hour, 45 minutes, and you'll have an opportunity for feedback, questions, observations, and then to wrap up our segments today, we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing next month. Okay? All right. So, help me welcome Peter Schmitz, Wins and Biggest Challenges. And we're supposed to wrap this around life vision, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so, so, probably like many of you, I'm, I'm struggling to find my real life vision. And so this is a, a diagram. And if you haven't been in some of these... If we put down all the things we're passionate about, all the things we like to do, things that are important to us, things we value, and in the center, you should get some clarity on what's really important in your life. And so I've been working on this for a long time because I really uh, didn't have good clarity until recently, and this is not a business-related story. Some of you know that I'm a triathlete. I'm training to be a triathlon, triathlete. So in 2013, I ran my first race, and I was totally unprepared. I was absolutely the last person on the course. I mean, the police were following me to clear the course. That's how slow I was. It took me four and a half hours. They had picked up everything at the end of the race. But I didn't quit. I didn't, you know, I didn't. And I'm an amputee. So, so for me to do these races is a whole different world than, in, uh, than for a lot of people. But I did my second race. That was the summer of 2013. And I met the, the Dare to Try triathlon team. And they are a handicapped triathlon team. And what was really Inspiring to me is I, there was nine of us racing in Wakanda. This was in my, where I lived. I was the only one that walked to the water. Everybody else had to be carried. And so I was pretty inspired by that. And, and what's really kind of interesting is several of them beat me because when they, when they ride a bike, they pedal with their hands. And when they run, they have another bike that they pedal with their hands or they push like a, a wheelchair. And they can obviously do that faster, way faster than I can run. And so last year I did five races. But what's really cool is this year I applied to be part of the Dare to Try team and I was approved. I was accepted just two weeks ago. So, so now I'm part of the team. They have an elite team and they have a development team. I'm on the development team. But I get access to a, full, a coach. And this woman, Stacy, she's going to help me with my, my swimming, my, all aspects of it. And she's got me already on an internet plan that she can monitor what I do. My bike is the kind of bike where I, I'm on a trainer. She can monitor what it, how much power I put out. And she can see all that. So it's really kind of cool. There's several clinics uh, in the next couple months to get ready. They pay for some of my racing. And so this is becoming part of my life vision. I'm, I'm in, you know, I thought I was inspiring. And to some people, I may be. But when you see these people that can't walk doing triathlons and, and you know I want to get to know these people because that is really inspiring so um, that's a big win in my life and it's just recently so I'm pretty excited about it obviously I'm starting a new business so it's not really the big win this is far more important because your life vision is what pulls you forward it keeps you going it's much far bigger than what you do for a living and so my question to you now is who here has had a big win since last time, or, or something that come up. 
somebody here must have had a, a big win of some kind. What do you mean by Maybe. that? Anything that, that's a win in your life or your business. More, more, a better win today would be focused on perhaps bringing clarity to your life vision, okay, as opposed to a success in your business. I, we're talking about vision today because a lot of people don't have that vision in their life. And, and when, you, when you put some clarity to that, it gives you purpose. And, and you look at things a lot different. And I'm not going to tell you I have the, all the answers because I don't. It's a process. It's not something you just wake up one day and have your vision, right? Go. Uh, regular attendees here know that last month, in my absence, I got lambasted. Yes, you did. <laughs> Maybe a little unfairly, but and go ahead. Here I am. That's my big win. You're back. Here I am. You didn't quit. I didn't quit. So tell us more. What was uh, that's pretty big. So what is it? What is it about Mark that got him to do that? I uh, I had not. I was away for a good reason. And I wasn't going to be defeated by one misguided person. Okay. And. I knew the value of being here with all of the people here. And I knew that being here was going to be important to me. So I swallowed my pride, ate a slice of humble pie, and got in the car and got here. On good time. Good for you. That takes good a job. lot of that takes a lot of courage. But that also speaks to integrity. Yes, it does. And I think very few people understand what integrity really means. I think it's a word that's thrown around a lot. Mm. Very few people understand what that means. So mm. kudos to you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Integrity is well. And I'm sure you thought about it. Yeah. And then I trust. I get it. Who else has a big one? Thank you for sharing. That was, that was big. That's a big deal. Anybody else? I think for me, personally, just going through that exercise, and I've spent all month on it. Exercise this the life thing. vision. Okay. So I've spent all month on it. I've taken 20 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. So for, for 20 minutes every single day, I it's been truly a work of progress. For me, the win is it's clarified. It was in my head. It was in my heart. I never put it on paper. So that to me is a big win because now it's on paper and it's out there. Um, and I feel really good about that. So maybe you'll share it with us. Sure. Well, we'd like to know. I mean, it, and is it? Are you are you to the point where it's like done, or are you still no, in the process? No, I'm, I'm still in process. Okay. I'm still in process. So so the message is spend time on it every day, whether it's five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. But it's a process. You don't just wake up and have a life vision. It's not that simple. No. If, if you really did, my suggestion would it? It wouldn't be your life vision. Exactly. <clears throat> it's 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 a big deal. Right. So, my three words are. Loving, supportive, impactful. My two statements are, I am a loving, comparing, caring, supportive person who cares deeply. I share with women my knowledge and passion so they can achieve their goals. And I have a lot of passion. I realize I have a lot of passion <laughs> for a lot of different things, <clears throat> which makes me happy. Good. That's excellent. Thank you. That's a huge one. Thank you. That's very good. Yeah. I gave my first Toastmaster speech last night, the icebreaker, and it did pretty good. So that was a good the challenge. first one. Yeah. A little nerve wracking, I bet. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great, that's a big thing. Yes. Public speaking is one of the biggest fears people have. So you're ready to do this next time? Mm, not yet. A <laughs> couple more. Yeah. That's couple great. Congratulations. That's Thank a big you. deal. I'm sure they'll have you do it again. Toastmasters is good at that. So, I need Karen. Oh, Karen, I'm sorry. No, I didn't that's see okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, I, I'm looking over um, you. I, I would say my, uh, you know, my biggest um, <coughs> success has been not being attached to outcomes. Um, you know, if you're talking to someone, if you're engaging, and whether it's business or personal, it isn't necessarily having my own agenda and being attached to the outcome. But being, you know, open to whatever whatever develops from that, and, and really being open. So. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yes, Ron with two ends. <laughs> <laughs> you did it too. 
get your paper and pencil ready. I'm going to give you something to look forward to. It's insane. And I came up with this in college when I was so hungover and I had to write a 2,000 word essay and I couldn't do it. But I got an A on it anyway. Marcus. It was a uh, never expect, it's, we call it, I call it the X factor. Okay? Never expect anything you don't want. Never want anything you don't expect. Because if you want it and you expect it, it will be yours. If you want a Ferrari or a new home, and it's worked for all my customers, take that picture and put it up there. Look at that picture every day. That picture is going to get you up and going. 40 degrees minus out here, it's going to get you up and going. Because that's your goal. You have to have a goal. Don't make your goals 10, 10 things away from you. Make your goal for what it is now. And work for that goal. Women losing weight, it's easy to do. Buy a bathing suit that you'd like to fit into. Don't buy it so you're 10 times smaller than what it is. Go to your next step. Hang that thing on your refrigerator. It works. Cool. Wow. It works. Can you repeat that first? Never thing? expect anything you don't want. Never want anything you don't expect. If you want it and you expect it, it's yours. And just put that same on the refrigerator. Look somewhere on your mirror. It works for you. It'll help you grow. It also helps you to think about it too. If somebody says no to you, there's no such word as no. <laughs> there is no such word as no. They're just not ready. They're just not ready, exactly. It might be ready. I get customers that still call me at two years down the road, three years down the road. Karen, it's been two and a half years since I've seen her. But I still get people that call me down the road here. Now that more, I've been in mobile, since 2010 when the phone was that big. Now it's you know, the size of it. Cool. But you have to be out there and you have to want it. And there's a good thing, and that's a good thing for it. Thanks for sharing that. I'd, I'd like to step your, your comment uh, across one, one step further. Because I hear sometimes people, even in this room, will say the negative thing about their business or the negative thing about what's going on with them, uh, as if that's an expectation. And so I see them, I watch them getting the very thing that they expect, which is the negative thing. There is no negativity in business as long as you have the will to get out there right. and, and work with it. I mean, like I said, I've been in mobile before mobile even started thinking about, anybody thought about mobile. Right. I'm just talking about the salesman, for example, who expects a particular objection. And boy, that just seems to be the objection that they get with stymie stuff. Okay, right? if you find that problem, then what you do is you say, okay, sir, how can I help you with your business grow? When he's negative, switch it over to a positive. I just think that you should follow your advice and not expect that negative objection. Right. Because you no, don't want it. I don't expect, expect the thing that you want, not the thing that you don't want, which is the objection. That's I get it. I'm but, agreeing you know, with you. I'll come back on it really quick. Because people want to see their business grow, or why would they even want it to even be in business? Right. You want to see it grow. Go ahead, I have something to add on that. To your intention of what you're putting out there. If you intend to have a scenario situation to fail on you, it will do it. And most people, it's all about energy. Is your intention or your energy bigger than the person you are meeting with? And there's a good movie called The Celestine Prophecy, which explains that in a visual format for people who are visual learners, and how your energy versus someone's energy ebbs and flows. There were a couple of people in this room I heard during speed networking who I hope are getting this point. That's why. So thank you for your time. Well, yeah, that's why we're discussing it. That's yeah. why we're reiterating it. That's why it's on the table. Yeah, cool. That's good stuff. The X-factor works for people. Because you, you look at that. I have people hanging in their cars for the next point. They actually had it, you know, plastic ties and everything else, but they keep it in their car. I like it. Yeah, you know, it, because it has to, you have to have that motivation to say, I can take him to say no, <clears throat> well, where do you want me to take you to say yes? What can I do for you? Where, does, where do you want to go down the road? Like I said, I own long term consulting, but I also own International Mobile Ed. So either way, I've got you where I can work with you. But you know what I do for my customers that work with me at International Mobile Ed? It costs you a cup of coffee if you get an idea and you get on that phone with me. Cool. That's all it's going to cost you. Very nice.
wins and biggest challenges. Yeah, last one. Uh, my sign in front of my desk where I work says, I am a millionaire already. Put it in your mind first. Mm. There you go. Good thoughts. Good stuff. Hope you're getting good. Is this good stuff? Good mm -hmm. notes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get some value out of here. Before we move on to our BOS, our business operating segment, I want you to be aware of a book. Some of you may have read it. I encourage every one of you to go out and get this book. I make nothing on this book, but I will tell you something. The Dream Giver by Bruce Wilkinson is one of the most amazing books you'll ever read. It's simple. It's a short read, big margins. There's even a couple pages in there with pictures on it. See? <laughs> All right? Yay, pictures, right? All these prices go crazy. Right, exactly. Is it on audio? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah you know what? Go get, you know what? Here's this interesting thing. If you're normally going to go out and get an audio book, I'm going to challenge you to go get the actual book. And, and, and actually go out and get it, because you can actually read it and see it. Yeah, I know. It's, but what but, if you don't learn that way? Well, well you know, I'm what's not interesting, I'm not you could do both. Let's do both. Yep, do because both. you're going to find things with your personality that's going to help you grow by actually getting the actual book. Yep. And I love audio books. Uh, you know, I've, I've recorded audio books. But, I mean, it's, this is, it's really, really helpful to get the actual okay. book. So the first thing you do is you get the book. The second thing you do is actually read, read the book. Read yeah. See, that's going to be really important yeah. for a lot of people. And that's why the right? audio helps. Right. Right. And, that, right, and that could actually be another way to do it. But then go back after you've, you've got the book, you've read the book, now go back and reread re it. Re it and take notes on the book. Yeah. And then the fourth thing after you've got the book, you've read the book, you've reread the book and take the notes, is go implement it and then share it with somebody else. Yep. This will change your life. It will change their life. Yep. And who gets the greatest benefit out of this book? You do. Yep. You do. Why? Because you've incorporated it into who you are, into the very DNA of what you're about. It's going to help you clarify your life vision, and you will have a rock-solid understanding of why you're here on planet Earth.